All right, chapter 127. Shout out to the Yaoi Yao community. Uh, your boy Shigeki from Head with another video, and uh, I haven't read this before. This is my first time going through it. Probably very late with this, but uh, you know, I got to keep this streak going. Chapter 127, Night of the End. You got your boy. I think his name is John. I still haven't checked. You got John out here going crazy on the Alkies. Uh, he looks like he's been just quarantined for about a, a month now, but, uh, no, he's just been dealing with the fact that his former friend is about to kill everybody. Naturally, I'll ask for a house in Central District will be broken down the finest wine weather to be morning or noon. I want to take complaints for anyone. I'll let my wife, our children, and our grandchildren enjoy a life of happiness. We should have that right. Shouldn't we, just because we fought our lives in line that, that this island's a future. That's why we should brush it aside. So Jean, um, Zoe, I guess, try to convince him. I guess Jean is like kind of wagering, going with the side of Aaron versus the side of let's get cooked by Aaron. <laughs> and uh, I, it's hard decision to make. I mean, this dude has always been a very simple guy. It's hard to convince him to be like, okay, let's go try to kill the fucking founding kite. Uh, Mikasa told me that this is going to be a Not, he won't be able to fight for a while. He has like two fingers. And he's crippled. Yo, I know like Titans, like I said, alluded to in the last video, that Titan Ackermans could like be like Titans that they can't heal. They can't heal. What is, what is he going to do? He's crippled. Mika, so that's like the first time she saw the motion like 20 episodes, 20 chapters. Uh, so yeah, just like, go fuck Aaron. Without you and a power of the nine Titans, there's nothing we can do. Aaron has what? All the Titans at this point? Alright, so he has the, the Warhammer Titan. He has the uh, Attack Titan. He has the Founding Titan. He has the... Um, the other, um, the other irrelevant titan, uh, the one that I believe, uh, Falco's brother got killed by by Aaron, and whatever power Falco's brother had, I think I think Aaron has that power now. Um, the only titans he doesn't have is the Beast Titan, the Colossal Titan, the Female Titan, the Armor Titan, and the Cart Titan. But, like, even together, he's as big as the Colossal Titan. He's already beaten the dog shot of Rainer, like, three different times. And he lost to him. Um, who else am I thinking about? That's all that matters. What's the Cart Titan going to do? I don't know what they can do even with, but with, with Mikasa and a healthy uh, Zeke. Not Zeke. Um, Levi, maybe. I think a healthy Mikasa and Le Levi is worth more than like almost every Titan I mentioned except maybe like if you could get Annie like back in training, maybe she could do something. Maybe um uh, fucking Zeke could do something. I don't even know where the fuck Zeke is at. Is he still in paths? I don't know. Uh so yeah. There's only Hunch. Mikasa cannot stand against Aaron. I guarantee you once she's gonna freeze up once they see each other. She literally can't do it. She's an Ackerman. Uh, even assuming Aaron somehow managed to keep the founder's pot even as hate. Uh, that for the decades to come at the hatred of the world. We should better push it back for several more years. Yo, shout out to my motherfucking nigga Zoe Hodge, the goat herself. If you're a fucking weirdo, you believe that she's a guy, by the way. I saw a theory on Twitter uh, when this, the the attack on Titan, the, the big attack on Titan Twitter page, if you've been on Twitter, you know who I'm talking about. He put a poll and said, who, the MV, who was the MVP of the chapter 127? And someone alluded that, I think someone alluded in like a sequel tweet. I think he alluded in a sequel tweet. It was like the most 
impactful female because it was Happy International Women's Day. Um, and he had Zoe on there. And someone was like, Zoe's not a female. I'm like, are you fucking re- I'm not going to say that word. Are you donkey brained? It's always not a feat. And I think, I guess in the, I think in anime it's not confirmed or the manga it's not confirmed one of the two. She's voiced by a female in the anime. Like, if she was supposed to be a male, then she would be voiced by a male. They could even just ask Isayama. I don't know, man. People are stupid, bro. People try to do this fucking gender politics shit. It's fucking disgusting. Uh, Aaron ended up there because of my own weak minded idealistic thoughts. I if she's always finally break down. Holy shit. Yeah, R.P. Irwin. Irwin. I have to enunciate Irwin. Yo, shout out my guy. Is that Sasha? Shout out to Sasha, too. I don't know who anybody else here is, but shout out to... <laughs> shout out to Sasha and Irwin. Yo, Zoe Hunt's just goaded, bro. I could just keep on zooming on Erwin until they realize, like, <laughs> yeah, nobody else matters. It's just Erwin. It could just show to Erwin. It would have been enough. Hey, shout out to Zoe, though. I wish she had her damn Kakashi, like, Tana implant. Give her, like, the damn uh, Ten Saigon or some shit. The Jogon or some shit. Uh, Han, I'm still a member of the Survey Corps. Who who are these people? Who are any of these other people? Is that Bert Holt? Is that that supposed to be? I don't know who that is. I guess that's Bert Holt. I don't know who else that could be. I don't think it's Burt Holt either. I don't know who that is. Uh, so, yeah, we got the anti Irwin. Why is she still a fucking Titan, bro? Get the fuck out of that form. Jesus. That one's fucking big lips over here. Get the fuck out of that damn form. It's like a Marlion against fucking Elgin. I think if Zeke would have been just as bad as if Aaron won. Um, well, no. If they didn't come into contact, and I guess Zeke would have won either. Zeke would just got this shit fucking smacked up by Levi again. Probably. I guess Levi was incapacitated, but he probably just came out the fucking woodworks and beat the shit out of Aaron if Aaron got fucking domed. Uh, somehow, somewhere, I feel like Zeke would have got his plan off if Aaron died. I don't know. He probably just fucking took the baby uh, the powers went to and just like fucking snatched the baby up, I don't know. Uh, sense of justice, Jesus. He old as fuck, goodness gracious. Mr. General. Yo, I like how fucking Big Dick Andy came through with the fucking thing. I already I gotta put the strap on this nigga. Look look Picasso dead in the eyes. Look at it. Look look at Picasso. She's a pussy. I told you. I told you Picasso wasn't nothing in the last chapter, bro. Fuck Picasso. Mikasa, I'm oh, sorry, I had to keep the, the alias up. Bro, oh my god, bro, I could, I could end this chapter right now. Mikasa and Armin are so pussy, bro. They're so horrible. They're, they're, they've literally become like garbage tier characters in this part of the, the story. Like, ever since. I don't even know. I don't think Armin has ever been good. I don't think Armin. I'm gonna be honest with this. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I don't think Armin has ever been a good character. I think he's like Sakura, and even the redeeming parts of Sakura is like nothing compared to the redeeming parts of like characters you actually like to see. And Mikasa is just falling off a cliff, man. And he knows she's pussy, bro. They're both pussy.
get at her. Get at her. Okay. Let's let's read let's read this one. If we who have a hometown in Moreland try to kill Aaron, you're going to end up finding us to protect Aaron, surely. Facts. That's it after all, isn't it, Mikasa? Because you probably have never thought of anything being more important than Aaron. Facts. You know, in other words, you're saying you have to kill me. Annie, pull a strap on her, please. Annie, kill her. I'm Annie, please. Annie, please, kill her. I'm begging you. God damn it, I hate Mikasa so much. She's literally doing this so, so like she can talk to Aaron. And then uh, uh, arm is just as bad as she is in there. Goodness gracious. A flying boat. It's a plane. They call it a flying they call it a plane a flying boat. They've seen planes before. I know they've seen planes. Is this the first plane that's been mentioned in Attack on Titan? I know that's not the first plane I've ever seen in Attack on Titan. That's a that's a plane. Um. Okay, whatever. Fucking Yelena, Queen. I hate her. I hate. I hate um the other fucker that looks like Yelena, but I can't remember his name. Uh, the, the guy that basically took over everything in the name the Jaegerist. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, the one who lent the knowledge to Aaron, who knew nothing of this con, it was the Jaegerist playing the Rumble in that. You should be able to predict something. You piece of shit. I mean, that's why this needs to be corrupted with a Marlian piece of shit. Let's get it. Yo, get out of that tight before I'm talking to normal person, you fucking freak. Paradisians, that's such a fucking cool name. R.P. Burko. Yeah, Annie really came with dicks. I mean, the Yelena came with the dicks. Marco, that's the one that, uh, that, that, uh, they fed. I don't know who they fed him to, but they fed his ass. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's get it. Yeah, we need to pull up the dicks real quick. <laughs> Jesus. They really fucked up Marco, man.
you know, genius really become like the psychotherapist here. Jesus. <laughs> Man, Raider get his ass beat part two. Good part twenty two. God damn, man. This dude just gets his shit knocked out every five seconds. This is ridiculous. Is that Gabby? Get the fuck out. Yo, kick Gabby's fucking mouth in, please. If someone could just kill Gabby right here, bro, that'd be the greatest thing. I, I, God forgive me, but I mean, dude, you know, fuck Gabby so much, man. Just break her jaw, bro. Just give it to me. Break her fucking jaw. You really pushed her face in. Goodness gracious. Oh, the goat they have awoken. God, he just like smacked the fucking head in just one good time. What is that? Oh, why did she pop out? It was occupied with the Jaeger faction. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Are you serious? This fucking human piece of goddamn garbage has really come through and fucked everything up again. Good lord, man. Jeez. This guy doesn't fucking stop. Alright, so this is in chapter 127. I would give anything for this motherfucker and Gabby to both die in the next chapter, but I feel like that won't happen. Hope you all enjoy. Peace.